Hello and welcome to this Accomplished Beginners Blender tutorial number 8. In this tutorial we'll talk about loop tools. That's an add-on. We need to go to User Preferences and under Add-ons make sure that under Mesh we have loop tools selected. If you press the All button here then you can see all the available add-ons and there are several of them but th th this is about loop tools this time and I'll just go through the functions one by one in alphabetical order. Uh, they're all effective in edit mode. I have a cube here that I have split up and I want to rejoin the, these halves and um, I'll just alt right mouse and shift alt right mouse select those and hope that the bridge will join it for me. So I do W, loop tools and bridge. And it did, but not quite the way I wanted it to be. It was not quite perpendicular here, so that's what I would like to have it. So I'll control C back out of that. And then I can just select a couple of these edges, do F to create a face, then do loop, or in other words, Alt, right mouse click to loop select and it gets everything here and I, all I need to do is just deselect that edge that goes across. So, ooh, so now we'll make another attempt and bridge and there it is. So now I'll quit out of that and I'll demonstrate cir the circle function. We have selected these two loops, W and circle and that makes a circle out of these two loops. Now, if I do bridge, it will join it again. Let's see here. And sometimes you get better results than others. I'll see here. I'll, I'll do the uh, circle thing here again. And um, I can change the radius a little bit. Uh, I can change it to zero point. Uh, seven maybe. See if that makes any changes to how the bridge function will work. Yes, it did. So then it became more perpendicular. The bridge did. So that's that that part bridge and circle. And circle can also be used in this fashion here. You can select just a vertex and then do a W and the circle and it will kind of make make a circle in the mesh. This is just a octagonal circle. Then we'll move on. I'll just uh, push this over here and uh, look at it from the top. Move on with this one here that is here to demonstrate the curve loop tool. We do W loop tools and curve. And here it will, the curve function will put a B spline curvature between the two selected loops like this. And you can change the influence of that. You can also put limits to it that you can, for instance, do the extrude only so it won't. Um, indent this, or you can do that indent only, then we'll only do these tips. You can have cubic or linear. If you set boundaries, then these tools or the excuse me these loops become boundaries so it limits how much it it actually works or how much it actually does and then regular has to do with even distribution of vertices and then there's another function if you select only singular vertices like this, and then you do W and loop tools curve. Okay, I think I'll have to back out of that. 
there this is what I was looking for w loop tools and curve then it will create that same curvature but only on 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 these loops and if I add extrude only then it will look like kind of a fin here fin on a fish or a missile or something so that's the that's briefly the curve function I have noticed that some of these functions are not all that stable sometimes you get unpredictable results here's a sphere that I have marked up I've selected the bottom uh, to demonstrate the flatten function in the loop tools you press F and flatten and it flattens whatever you've chosen you can also go here and uh, let's say face mode and just select them some faces here And it does that. Then we'll look at loft. Okay, we need to be in edge mode. So okay, here we have three, four rings. If I use the loft function, it will connect all of them. If I use the bridge function, it will only connect these two pairs. So loft is, is multiple continuous bridging. then the last thing we want to look at is this is a just a flat surface and I have been more successful using this on a flat surface than than on an actual 3d object and I have this kind of kinked up flat piece here and if I use W and say relax then it will so to speak relax the angles on this here and uh, now it it's set on parallel. If I only use selection, then it's gonna, it will only work on the selected loop. So usually what you want to, for something like that, you would like to have them parallel on. And um, the same thing is true for, I just wanna back out of that. Space. Can, we can do this. Space is, is supposed to attempt to evenly space out the vertices along this curve here. So if I do W loop tools and space, that happens. And as I said, some of these tools are not always completely predictable. I have had some unpredictable results with them. But I believe that what I've just told you is the the, the original intent how to the, how they should work. I'm just gonna try this here and see if I do W and circle here on this, and it did work. And let's say we do see if we can make this crash. Uh, And I'll do W and curve. Okay, that worked pretty good. So we got that curvature there. So as I said, 
it works the way it was intended to, really powerful tools. Sometimes because of either user error or for unpredictable reasons, they don't work exactly the way you hope them to. But it's a really good set of tools, especially the bridge and flatten, I feel. They're really useful on, a, on an everyday basis. Uh, so this is it for this tutorial. I hope you will find it useful for you. And um, with that uh, little warning that sometimes these tools are not quite uh, working as, as you would like them to. So I'll thank you for listening and uh, have a good evening. Bye-bye.